Okay, it's Nick Dutch back again uh, one more time, again commenting on a comment, and that's a cool thing because it keeps me busy, you know, and, <laughs> and also, you know, it just gives me more things to think about and talk about and help people to understand where I'm coming from as a human being, which is a good thing. The On the video I did about um, channeling spiritual beings, one of my uh, regular viewers has left a comment saying, on the subject of channeled beings, I'd have to say that those who post messages of the Galactic Federation of Light are the worst culprits. Not because they post them, but because they post them as though they, the messages, are the hard and fast truth of everything. Yeah, I mean, I would agree with that uh, to a great degree. I would not necessarily say they're the worst culprits. Uh, they are, well, they're pre they're pretty terrible. Okay, they, they're, 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 I mean, the whole Galactic Federation of Life thing is so close to horse shit. You can hear the flies buzzing around it. It's diabolical. What I think is worse is when someone tries to convince someone of something and then tries to convince them that because of this particular truth or narrative which has been created by the um, alleged channeling that the person who is listening to this um, has to do something whatever that might be now this could be uh, you know following a religion following a cult shaving their heads um, sacrificing a chicken um, losing a their job uh, putting a video up on YouTube talking about like the fact that tribulation is coming and the fact they're going to miss everyone terribly because they happen to be the chosen one and everyone else isn't and uh, and um, I mean God Almighty. I mean this is when like these like non-geographically bound cults or cultures or you know they are cults they they are cults with a culture okay of their own which is often created for the purposes of maintaining uh, a certain level of loyalty amongst the viewership okay you cre create a separation between one particular group of believers as opposed to another particular group of believers and that's a problem in its own right i mean you know what why bother well it's a question of power and money really which is what a lot i mean a lot of the things you just hear on the radio has a financial component to it. Let's say a novelist saying that uh, you know the internet is destroying the novel the way that we understand it. No true novelist would appreciate the way that technology is taking novel novels at the moment. Why would someone want to say something like that? Think about it. Obviously, there's a no true Scotsman logical fallacy thrown in there. But why would someone say something like that? Because they're trying to maintain their client base. That's why they're a form of media creator and they're trying to maintain their client base. It's a form of PR exercise and it's loaded with money. Okay, that's what it's all about. Uh, which is a bad thing. Okay, because essentially it's it's changing people's perspectives and people who believe in the religion of uh, literature or whatever will end up following uh, or believing in what they're told to believe by that particular pundit, and that is that's when things get get really bad because it takes away all free thought uh, and it replaces it with what the PR man says and I believe that that is a form of evil but unfortunately again that's the way the world works I mean the whole of YouTube is, is dominated with this stuff the whole of the internet is dominated with this stuff it's uh, it, it's quite scary that the whole you know words have become something which are primarily a tool for financial gain rather than something which could be used constructively to help uh, help people help life help politics help society or whatever it's I, I just find this really frustrating the we could be genuine seekers for the truth and instead you, you know you end up getting people who instead of being seekers for the truth they end up being followers of some cults and therefore being taken away from truth and brought closer to a truth which is not necessarily true because it's a bunch of cult beliefs and this is the way the world is 
uh, I suppose you could get some good out of it if you really, you know, worked hard to try and find it. But sometimes it's difficult to say that, especially if um, you're someone who's got something inside yourself, which is actually a little prejudiced against that way of thinking and that way of promoting information. Okay, so when you're, when you're out there on the internet, try and work out what it is people are saying and how heavily loaded that is with you know l you know lust for money or desire to improve careers and start developing a bit of skepticism about what people say and how they say it and why they say it just some thoughts for today keep cool